What's up guys and welcome back to another video. I do hope you guys are having a good time. I do understand firstly that our attention span is very very much of that of a squirrel. All of us, including me, we cannot concentrate and think deep, like deep deep inside one thing and study it carefully. We just need to like show 30 seconds video and just scroll and just scroll and just scroll and laugh and scroll and laugh and, ah, ah, and scroll. So yeah, I'm not going to waste any of our time at all. I'm just going to like go straight to the topic. Today, I want to talk about fashion business 101. Fashion business. See, I want to, if you want to run and go and watch TikTok video, I advise you to watch this video from beginning to the end because I just want to talk about one simple thing that differentiates us all. And if you can actually grab this knowledge, it will be beneficial for you. That's what I'm saying. So please, just, I know it's, good, it's hard to watch a five minute video in this day and age. I know, I know it's crazy, it's difficult. Just please concentrate. Fashion business 101. And this fashion business does not only apply to fashion business. Whatsoever you do in life, it's applied to it actually. It's applied to any business that you incur and you want to like make money. So I'm going to write fashion business. Fashion business. Business. I don't remember. How would you spell business? Business, okay? 101. Fashion business 101. So I want you to have that topic in your head. Firstly, I want you to understand that if you see business, several business, and you that you work where you work, what exactly is that thing that differentiates us all? Look at business in our local country, in our country, in your local country. Look at the business of fashion in our clothes. The bigger brands, the Giorgio Armani, the Louis Vuitton, the Versace, the Emporio, all of these big brands, look at them. What is the thing that differentiates them from you? If you can think very deep, right? You're going to understand and you're going to see it. But if you just want to like, like just go on in your life and just do minimum business, it might not work for you. But if you want to genuinely make it in life, I want you to like reason this with me. You are on this channel because you're learning how to sew. You are here because you're learning how to cut and sew things, how to do things. I want to give you an option right now. I want you to just pause this video. Go outside and just look at anybody and ask them, what do you do for a living? You see, everybody has something they're doing. Everybody know how to do something. Just, just pause this video right now and go outside. Ask anybody that you meet, oh, what do you do for a living? You see, they can be a carpenter, they can be a farmer, they can be a bricklayer, they can be a furniture. Everybody know what, they, they know something, how to do something. But regardless of whatsoever they do, they still eat like from hand to mouth, which is something that we have to like break that bondage and we have to like, Walk through this. If learning to do things, if learning how to do things and how to become better and how to improve and how to sew clothes and how to do this is the need for success. It's actually the core need for success. Why do most of us fall short? Why do everybody fall short? Including knowing how to do things, knowing how to sew clothes, knowing how to do it better. Why do you fall short of success? That means we are doing something wrong. All of us, I'm not trying to like teach you, I'm trying to like teach myself, including. We are all doing something wrong and something needed to be changed. If learning to do things is the core principles to success, why do we fall short? You've learned how to sew, now you can make suits, of course. Now you can make good clothes. But you want something which is success, why do you fall short of that? That's the thing. And it's one particular thing that is missing. It's ability. To make sales. The fashion business 101, there's so many things involved in, but here I want to talk about the construct of sales. Sales. This is the only thing you need to understand how to do. I want you to look at the bigger brands. I want you to look at, hey, let's just work with local brands here. Do you think this bigger brands, the owner of bigger brand, I want to mention Shivudi, right? Um, there, there are a lot of them, Shivudi and so many more. Do you think they are the ones that sit down on machine and so clothes? There's one thing they have in common that you don't have. It is the ability to speak sales. It's the ability to track people to buy their products. Ability to meet people that want the product that they are selling. 
It is the ability to build a perception of luxury or a perception of whatsoever they are doing and get other people to come and patronize them. It is the ability to place yourself in a position of the best in the industry that make people to want to come and patronize them. I want you to, I want you to just think of it. Let's just reason this together, right? Let's just think about this together. As time goes on, after you watch this video, I want you to rethink your business. I want you to, to just rethink your business of fashion, the business you're doing in general. You might see this video and you're not a fashion designer. This, this channel is for designers and you're not a fashion designer and you're a business owner and sell. What is your system? What system do you have to make sales? What system do you have in place that can make people buy your products? Sales is the bedrock. It's the bedrock of any business in general. Sales is the bedrock of whatsoever business you're doing. Your ability to accumulate customer to get them paying you, whereby you take the percentage and you put the other money in business and you make the wheel go round and round and round and round for years. It's a bedrock of success. So this particular sales topic, how to get customers, how to make more money, how to get people to patronize you, is the thing that okay, I feel like I feel like my camera stopped. <laughs> it's the thing that we're going to talk about in our next topic. I just want you to get charged. I just want you to understand more about this business. I want you to just sit down, think about how you can. That is the only thing you need. The other things you can outsource them. The other things you can outsource the making of the clothes. You can outsource all of the other things. But the ability to get customers is the only thing you need. Being able to be a good salesman, being able to be a standard salesman will help you in every part of your life. You see, being able to be a strong salesman, whatever you do, even when you decide to not do business, to not do fashion again, and you get into other business, you can understand that, fuck it, you, you can meet people, you can, you can sell cars, you can sell pencil for one billion naira. I mean, see, this is the core principles of business. That's why I need this business 101. I'm going to be making more videos about sales. Construct. I'll tell you guys more stories about accumulating and all of these things. And that's why you're here, to become a better version of yourself. I want you to rethink your business in general. Write it down. Get yourself a diary. Get yourself a jota. Feel it. Keep writing things. Keep writing things every day. Construct ideas and try them. Try as much as possible. The way to meet people. Everything that is possible that you need to do in order to make sales, try them, try everything. And in my next video, I'm going to be sharing several other things in which you can do in order to get make sales. My stories, how to meet people, how to talk to people about your business, how to track contracts. All of these things are basic principles of sales. So, this is just like a brush up to the concept of business. The most important thing is sales. So I'll see you guys in my next video. I know I'm taking longer in this video, and I, as I've said, don't have the attention. No, you see, what's the job this video right now? Instead of taking a job and writing something down, you're going back to TikTok. You're watching the next video. You're watching the next video. You're watching the next video. The thing that will change your life is not the things that you see. It's the thing that you search for. So I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe if you get to subscribe to the channel in case you want to learn how to become a better version. Uh, of yourself you can join my class just to get a neater finishing and all of those things you can join my class the link will be in the description below and i will see you in the next class do have a lovely rest of your day bye bye and to the end